One night in spring 1975, Geary Dahl, an American copywriter, was at a bar with some friends. A seemingly mundane and superficial conversation surrounding the usual complaints of pet owners began, and he obligatorily listened. While listening, a simple question came to him. What if there could be a pet that did not have to be bathed, groomed, cleaned up after? Then he said that he didn't have to worry about any of that because he had a pet rock. It was, of course, a joke. He went home and began writing an owner's manual for this hypothetical pet rock, which detailed how best to handle it, the tricks it could perform, and how it could remain a faithful companion due to its long lifespan. Now that the manual was developed, he needed a rock. He went to a builder's supply store and purchased, for one cent, a landscaping, pebble-like rock. And he created a cardboard house complete with breathing holes and added straw for its bed. In August of 1975, after the pet rock was unveiled at the San Francisco gift show, department store Neiman Marcus ordered 1,000 rocks, and Newsweek picked up the story with a photograph. In two short months, he received thousands of orders and was shipping 10,000 rocks per day. By Christmas time that year, he had sold 1 million pet rocks for $3.95 a piece. The point of this story is not Gary Dahl's ingenious idea, but that he put it into practice. This is why it is often said that what is needed to create is not a brilliant brain, but a spirit of challenge. It means that no matter how good an idea is, if you don't have the will to put it into practice, you can't produce any results.